Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this video I'm going to show you how to use this really lovely fashion yarn, I think they're called, aren't they? Pom-pom yarns, ruffle yarns, They've, there's all sorts at the moment. There's even um, a, kind of a, a yarn that has a nice ribbon on it but with this edging to it. So I got this the other day when I was at the NEC Hobby Crafts exhibition and it was on a really good price so I'm, I do love this. I have knitted with this yarn before but I've never crocheted with this yarn and because the price is normally sort of nine, ten pounds a ball it's a bit kind of I wouldn't have spent that money just to see if I liked to crochet with it. So this was a really good price like I said so I bought a couple of balls with it and I wanted to always see if I could crochet with it. Now you can crochet with it I have tried it, but in all honest, honestly, <laughs> in all honesty, honesty, that's the word, <laughs> um, I think knitting with it is actually much easier to do. I can show you how to crochet with it, but I don't think it gives you the same effect as when you're knitting with it. But what I'm going to show you I can do with it is how to attach it to your crochet project okay so I'm going to show you how to do a bit of knitting <laughs> I know the world's gone crazy so I'm going to show you how to do knitting I'm not sure how well this is going to go because I've I'm not a knitter really I can knit but I'm not I don't knit very often and I don't know how much space I'm going to have in here so what I'm going to do is quickly show you how you would knit with this yarn so when you get these yarns off the ball you can see they're sort of you know they're all wound up tightly and what you need to do is try and pull off the as sort of a, a, a decent amount of yarn possible and you want to kind of unstretch it a bit you want to flatten it out a bit and if we just have a quick look at this and this is quite common for them to look like this so you've got the decorative edge which in this case is this this edge here which looks like it's sort of got some X fibres work, worked into the edge to make it look like pom-poms which is really cute I think and then you've got this sort of webbing bit at the top and it's this top bit that you will be knitting and crocheting into so you can see that there's sort of nicely spaced intervals okay so what you want to be doing is you want to work out how much ruffle you want and the bigger the gap you leave between these two these two spaces the more ruffle you're going to get so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking to work between I'm going to be leaving up a gap so hang on let me just get that back again there we go so I'm going to be working into these missing this and working into these okay so I'd miss that one and work into that one okay so bear with me remember I'm not a knitter so I'm probably going to get this wording all wrong so you can you can tell me what I'm doing wrong in the in the comments box below okay so I'm just taking a, a knitting needle sorry it's a very long one I've got a nine millimeter one here um, I think the wrapper says between 8 and 9 mils, so I've gone for 9. <laughs> Why not? And I'm just going to cast on, which is literally just putting those loops over onto the needle. So not in any way like traditional knitting. So I'm leaving that gap and I'm putting that over. Leaving the gap putting the loop over one two three four five I'm going to do six go leave the gap and put one over so this is going to have six stitches on it okay you don't do anything with this bit that's all you do okay well this is what I do anyway and it works for me so. <laughs> all right so that now goes into the other hand and this is what we're now going to knit. So I'm going to get some of my yarn. 
So I'm going to put the hook, the, the needle, hook, <laughs> needle. It's a needle, Olivia. I'm going to put the needle like we would if we were going to do a normal stitch. I'm going to grab my yarn and again I'm going to miss that one there and go for the next one along. I can show you. There it is. And that, I've still got that in my hand, I'm going to put over the the needle and then work the knitted stitch like that. Then I'm going to pick up the next stitch along and again I'm going to skip that hole and go for the next one along. Sorry about the thumping noise but it's the... <laughs> The needles are hooking on, um, bashing onto the tripod to so. say. Right, there we go. Got that right. Sorry about that. My hand was in the way. And again, we just do that. And again, next stitch along. Needles in. Skip a hole. Pick up that next one over the needle and work the stitch. So probably making it look complicated or more complicated <laughs> than I need to. Remember I'm going to miss that one and grab that one. Put that over the hook, the needle. Oh dear, needle. Over like that. A couple more to do. Like that. So miss that one. Pick up that one. Over the needle. Work the the knitted stitch and then this last one here exactly the same miss that one pick up that one there put that over the the needle and you just work like that and then you turn around and you work back and forward like that I've got that twisted so I'll untwist that and again working the knitted stitch just as you would normally do miss that one pick up that one put it over the the needle and work the knitted stitch so I'm just going to do a couple of row, um, rows and then I'll show you what it looks like just did one more row <laughs> and um, there you go you can see that it does sort of have this nice ruffle effect and you don't need to do many stitches at all I think six would probably be you know more than enough and it's very hangy it's very loose and you just keep going now I can't remember but I do believe that when you you cast off in the same way that you would you cast off with knitting and you'll be in you'll be left with like the little end bit like you've got here but maybe because I'm not going to finish this project so I'm not going to be able to show you how to cast off I'm sure there'll be other videos I'll find some and put some down below to show you a proper video on how to use knit with this stuff um, I'll put a link down below but you cast off as normal and you'll be left with this little tail end and if you're worried about it coming undone then you could just do a couple of little stitches to secure it in but I've got a scarf that I made with some similar material of yarn a couple of years ago and it's absolutely fine so yeah I'm not going to be doing the whole project because I don't want to have this like this I want to use it a different way so that's how you knit with it and I'm going to undo that now <laughs> Because I'm not going to keep that, and and then we're just going to quickly show you how to crochet with it. But I don't really think it works as well crocheting with it. Let me get my nine mil hook. So I'm going to use the same size hook as I did knitting needle, 
and again what we're going to do is we're going to work out sort of the spacing so again I'm going to be working into the every other loop at the top there to start it off with I'm just going to fold over that edge there so it doesn't have like a, a raggedy edge at the end and I'm going to put my hook through and to do a stitch you're going to miss one put the next one over and pull that through like that miss one well like I'm missing one and doing the every other one so that's what you would do but if you were going to leave two then yeah, that's what you would do you would stay consistent if you wanted to you could if you did different side gaps you'd have different sized ruffles so and then you literally just pull that through so I'm going to do that's three stitches let's do four and five one more just for the sake of it <laughs> six so I've done six stitches there and I'm pretty sure you'll agree they are pretty impossible now to see where they are I mean you can kind of see where the top of it is but it's not very clear and instead of now turning and working that way you would need to turn the work around the opposite way and work and then you would do the same thing by putting the hook through there grabbing the next bit and then pulling it through both of those and then the next one here and then skipping one and pulling that through both and personally I don't really enjoy this this isn't I don't like the effect and I'm not enjoying the process of it you may enjoy it <laughs> and if you do say I'm getting in a right mess here and I don't think as much as I would love <laughs> to be able to crochet with this I don't think it is at its best when you crochet with it I think you get a better effect when you knit with it I'll just do a couple more and I'm not really confident that I'm putting the hook in the right place and it, you know there's nothing wrong with the process as such I just I'm not enjoying it <laughs> and you're supposed to enjoy this sort of thing aren't you really so let me just get to the end here and I think that's the end I don't think I've, I think I've only done five stitches there so I've lost one along the way and if I just show you that's two rows of it and really I'm I I I'm prepared to say that I'm I don't really enjoy doing this so I'm I'm fully aware of the fact that I'm doing it wrong maybe but yeah that is enough for me to realise that I don't want to carry on working a project in that same vein. So let me show you what I have come up with. Okay, so what I did was I've made myself a curly scarf, which is very small because I'm only just doing a sample just to see if I like it. And I've got a link to a video down below that I've done showing you how to make this curly scarf. So I've just made this little sample and what I thought it would be nice is if you imagine that this was much wider, you know, it's more of the completed item what would it be look what would it look like if this was the edging okay so obviously I wouldn't be using the cream because it was just to just to see what it what it looked like so I'm just going to do one chain and I can turn around and start working back the other way so what I really want to do now is work is to attach this pretty yarn that I don't like crocheting with and working it into a project that I you know I can crochet it too so my thought was if I put the hook through the next stitch and then put the hook through the loop I could then draw through do a double and attach it so if I then if I go to the next stitch along if I skipped one of those gaps like, like we were doing before 
and then just wait into the next one like that and then I could just work my way all the way around the edge of this working this pretty decorative yarn onto it and I didn't get very far and did it so that I could start again to show you on the video but I did really like the effect so I'll just show you again I'm just doing a normal double so I'm out of focus I'm just doing a normal double crochet skipping the the gap so I'm get, gonna have a nice ruffle and just working an edging stitch along the edge of my scarf the curly scarf that I've made attaching this pretty ruffle yarn to it and if I don't get that messed up like that <laughs> I do it properly like that and it is you know it's a bit fiddly but I think you'll agree that it's a little bit more satisfying than what I was trying to do earlier with the crochet hook and if I just stop there and I'll just turn that round I think you'll agree that that actually does look quite pretty as an edging so I'm going to do a bit more and I'll come back and we'll have a look together and see what we think okay so I've done a little bit more and personally I love it <laughs> I think that looks fantastic I really love the way that that flops around the edge I think it looks really neat I think that looks different I'm really enjoying that much more than just the simple crochet if I just let that pattern twist around you can really see that it has a lovely lovely effect to it and obviously I wouldn't have used white oh that was just me playing around seeing what things look like it's really tactile I love the way it looks I think yeah that's going to be something that I'm going to really investigate doing <laughs> maybe um, I'll get make a, a, maybe a heather coloured yarn for the middle bit but yeah really enjoying that and even if it was just um, a cardigan you'd made or a, a just a simple scarf you could just go around the edge and give that a nice ruffle to it so yeah there is a diff there is a way of using this in crochet in your crochet work and I'm really pleased because I wanted to use this sort of yarn in my project before but haven't because I was scared of it so now we know so thank you for <laughs> letting me sort of experiment with you um, I hope you found this video helpful because you know it's all about practicing and trying things and you know my lessons are in how to do crochet are sort of just the stepping stones for you to playing and experimenting yourself so you know do have a play with different yarns do play with stuff see what you think you know the great thing about crochet is that it's so easy to undo and you haven't wasted anything and it's quick to get back to where you started if you wanted to start again so have a play with stuff and I hope you found this video helpful I'd love a thumbs up if you did and if you like this sort of video let me know in the comment box below I've put links down below to the video that I did on how to make this curly scarf so if you wanted to do something yourself the same then you know you go ahead and watch that and that'll show you how to do that so yeah okay don't forget you can contact me on the message box below instagram twitter facebook i'm girly bunches everywhere and i really love saying hi to people so do come and say hello i always try and reply to all the comments and yeah i'll see you again very soon in the next video thanks for watching bye for now